kind of I'm kind of out of luck, man. My 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 one organ player is out. Rest in That's peace, true. <laughs> Rest in peace. Yeah. There was a bet just for anyone in the chat, but there was a side bet from an organ TO who said bet anyone a hundred dollars that an organ player was going to come up here and take the bag, take the W. And as the organ players slowly fell, the the the, the diminishing the bet got um. Less and less certain until the final organ player finally fell out at seventh. A very respectable placement, to be sure. Yeah, um, and, uh, <laughs> we love you too, Polo. Rest in love peace, Love you too. But uh, let's see who's gonna rest in peace. This is the last, basically the last game for either of these players, JDB Nano Ash. This has got to be so. Hard. <laughs> I just love how it's just like the Galaga's flying and. And Nana just jumps over and command grabs him for the first percentage of the game. Just like, I am going to grab you. This is going to be your life for this set. And that's what that's what that's what J I mean, Nano Ash has to do. He's got to break all of his space. J JDV among one of the best Pac Mans in the world. Can't say the best because we got a lot of Japanese talent. Uh, we got there. like yeah, was it uh, T? T. I, mean, uh, I don't know. I don't know all the Japanese players, but there's a lot of. Pac -Man he's players. probably it's probably JDV and Midi are probably the best Pac Mans in North America. I think that's fair to say. I, I would say. You, you, you guys can shut us up. I mean, yeah, see, see no. us at, like, Washington tournaments or Seattle tournaments or whatever the whatever the case may be. But uh, it's kind of having a, a little hard time. Yeah, Nano as we're saying, this, this hyping, hyping him up uh, as as he's getting bo really bodied uh, by, oh, yeah, I mean, the, yeah, getting the fair train, but it's, like, only 38, 40, 60. Like, this percent doesn't matter to Bowser yet. Like, it's like, you know, Bowser's going to get comboed to some around here and then play the game because it's Bowser. Yeah, it's, it's free. So, you can't drop combos on Bowser, man. So it's like uh, one, I feel like one more hit onto JDB and then for sure within command grab kill percent range. Not quite yet with good DI. And we know JDB knows how to DI it. Here's uh, this is the flagship of Nano Ash's play. This entire tournament is doing a really, really good job of these ledge traps. P misses the first one. We'll see if he does it again. Oh, catches the bell. Oh, never mind. It's I, I swear he caught the bell. Yeah, I, I was tricked too. Every once in a while, you think someone catches bell and it's just disappeared. Gone. Gone. Disappeared. Deleted into the blast zone. And, uh, JDB just going for a little ride off the side, just saying, I'm going to go ch chill off stage for a bit because yeah, I have to leave. Bowser, what is Bowder actually Nothing. supposed to do down there? Like, Nothing. he could commit down there or whatever whatever the case may be. But but you're never going to see Nano Ash go for that pretty much ever. Yeah, um, that's more the Leon style of, like, down air and disadvantage, yeah. um, which he really loves to do and makes work. He but got a little impatient because, like, once, once uh, JDB was pressured off into the stage and had to re-grab ledge, then... Uh, could have punished it with the two frame, but it uh, doesn't really matter. Oh Ooh, my god! Forward throw not quite going to do it. Even though fo Bowser forward throw pretty beefy. Okay, 173 just needs anything, really. Any any stray hit, any... Like jab 1-2 at ledge might kill. Yeah, jab, jab side B is a true combo I've learned today from Nano Ash, so you know. That I, think, I think it's... True. Yeah, at this percent, I think it is because like the hit stun on jab one, I think increases at. Percent. Oh, oh my god, is he just dead? Rare miss, rare, rare flub from JDB, but not letting it affect him too much. He's still able to recover, but uh, here's his ledge trap once again. Oh my god, JDB's traps. It's a new one every time. You gotta pick and choose. This looks so. This looks so close. This looks. This like. I swear, Nano Ash was in control for the first 30, 45 seconds of this game. Nice up, he had a shield to take. I was not expecting that to be the way he took the first stock, but it works. Yeah, it works. I mean, usually you don't get to see people high enough percent for that to happen because, you know, get at tilt at ledge at 40, or at 80 and blah, 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 blah. But hasn't been hitting those necessarily on JDB. It's probably because Pac-Man has like a lot easier time recovering on uh, ledge compared to a lot of other characters because his his uh, recovery lively snaps versus like Wolf, for example, or uh, uh, Incineroar, et cetera, et cetera. So these early kills for Nano Ash hasn't been like coming to fruition. So he's got to either find new ways to kill or maybe fix his timing just a little bit to, to end these stocks early. Cool. And the rare dash attack actually catching Nano Ash. Oh, the almost perfect ledge trap with the Hydrant into F Smash setup, but Nano Ash just timing. Oh, I like Wait. that a lot. He was trying to read the shield. I mean, yeah. you gotta you gotta go for ballsy stuff when you just every die. once in a while. Yeah, I I don't blame him at all. He also is mentally thinking about, he's already, kind of already was thinking probably about game two, just like, all right, like it's, the, the likelihood of me coming back here is is low. It's possible, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go for 
the like crazy option because yeah, yeah if he breaks, he his, shield. breaks his shield and kills him there all of a sudden it's even pretty much even -ish. quotation marks because i always say if a bowser's at like 100 ish or something against zero i call it it's like closest to even since bowser basically has like two stocks almost that's true but then you have to consider bell like it, that's it, true it, actually because yeah bell s smash doesn't really care how heavy you are yeah that's yeah, it true doesn't, it doesn't care no matter how heavy you are it's not like you can milk this extra life as much as you can versus like Sinnoh or other characters. Because uh, that, that kill confirm is so deadly. Because it always charges with an F smash or whatever. Oh my god, these ladders. Okay, you these... just have to hold that. Yeah, you just have to hold that. It's kind of funny that it was like, for an amount, how crazy that looked. 55%, it feels like lower than like it should have been almost. It's always funny, the Pac-Man fair combo across the stage looks hella cool. But it like doesn't do that much damage. As I say that, it means I had 83 now. Tries to get the grab, no follow up necessarily, and it's it's this game. It's like when when Steve starts building blocks, but instead of blocks, it's hydrate. <laughs> right. You have to get over it, and I'm not. Oh, Ooh, nice, nice catch. catch. Okay. Oh, I want him. I want him. <laughs> he's like wanting to throw it in his face, and he's getting fared. Oh, that doesn't connect. But you can I like the, the yeah, I like the attempt at the drop, forcing him into shield. Really smart. See if any of the fire is gonna clip him. <laughs> yeah, I think it was like it, 0.2%. It, it clicked his it clicked his hand. I like yeah. That. The amount of attention to detail in this game is crazy. Okay, not gonna quite kill. That was the first down air we've seen, I think, from Nano Ash. Yeah, uh, he doesn't really opt for that move. I know he's like more conservative, especially in the blood trap. But a uh, little mix up never hurt anybody until it does. Oh, but like the apple! That. Oh my God, what a mix! The I angry seen that. evil apple orchard coming back to reap Nano Ash's soul. Just... I haven't seen that from this entire day. That was the first time I've seen that ledge trap where he tosses the apple straight up and it does that balance to cover roll. I mean, uh, yeah, it's just a bag of tricks. He really, it's like. Especially with play characters like Pac-Man, where if you're at a high level, there's so many tricks that you have, and you don't have to reveal them, except for just moments where you want to take a stock and you know that you can actually use it. Yeah, because it, it covers roll specifically, right? So he had, a, he had to have an inkling that, okay, this is the fruit I'm going to use to cover the ledge, and I have apple here. Okay, what is he going to do? He's going to roll. I toss the apple here, and it, it, it actually works. So good on JDB for recognizing that. And, uh, I'm now, loving the, the damage that Nano Ash is just Racking up here with just pure grabs. Command grab and single grab. Gonna take some more. All right, second. Oh, he thought uh, he was gonna drift in maybe. A I like, it was like a safe option. He wasn't gonna get punished for it, but yeah, I would have liked to see another F tilt or some, or a fair maybe. Yeah, it's, it was a little bit of a recognition thing. Okay, now he's actually he's actually doing a really good job of making it so that JDB can't hydrate for free by running up and up smashing these because it sends it back and it extends the hitbox of his up smash. And it's relatively safe to do if only oh, another catch. Another catch. Okay, this is how you know Nano Ash and JDB have played a lot because he's done that not by accident. He's oh, yeah. intentionally he's... jumped up and air dodged to grab it. That's like the first time people have ever or counterplayed two Pac Man specifically have, has happened in, in, in this tournament. So. Good on Nano Ash for uh, uh, utilizing his knowledge. Okay, here we go. Got to deal with it one more time. Sit up. Now it's a dangerous out of shield option. Always scary. Okay, he's doing something fancy. He's looking for something fancy. He was trying to condition the fast. Uh... He's just he's looking for the least. And this he's like, I'm gonna be his unfancy. I'm just gonna grab you, hug you, and blow you up off the top. Yeah, I just need I just need five hits. Do your fancy things. I don't need no setup. I'm just a turtle with some claws. A little bit of fire. And at 129%, unless unless he gets, you know, Bell F smash, like, he's still living for a bit with JDB's play style not being, like, going for hard, explosive reads. I, you know, I see him without Bell not... Oh, he's not able to capitalize. He's off stage. If, if Nano Ash keep, keep having this discipline in order, like, getting off the ledge against Bell, uh, JDB is actually going to have a really, really hard time to kill because what we said earlier about, oh, yeah, Bowser technically has, like, two stocks worth of percent on one stock because of how heavy he is. Uh, and it doesn't matter because of Bell. But then he's avoiding all these Bells. Like, yeah, he's and catching them. Yeah, because because like even if even if JDB catches it with like up air, it's never gonna kill. So he has to commit to something heavier. And uh, living to two hundred percent, especially in this scenario. Oh my God, that flame breath at thirty percent. Yeah, can't be eating those. And yeah, just like fighting a war of attrition where he's able to just pick away at him with command grabs, normal grabs. Um, the occasional flame breath, the occasional aerial. Since it's actually crazy how few buttons Nano Ash has hit, been hitting JDB with, really just 
playing yeah, smart. To Jay, yeah. Compared to the amount of buns JV has pressed. Has pre like, he's just be being using good defensive play. I mean, he's taking his hits where he has to because he's Bowser. But, like, catching the bell, keeping that out of play, and then just that, okay. using the command grab when needed to actually close out stocks. See this discipline. Oh, didn't account for the slow melon. Oh, I'm not able to punish that. That's what I've noticed about Nanowash. It's all, all this discipline that he has. He follows rules that he set in place for himself. This is how I'm going to do my ledge trap. This is how I'm going to respond to to Bell. And he has like concrete plans that he can mix and match, make sure that the pressure doesn't get to him. And he kind of has to, because if he doesn't, the stock is so important. 2-0 against JDB. Yeah, really does not want to go down 2-0 and have to fight back on the re that reverse 3-0 slog. Yeah, I mean, this game is, is, is over five minutes. One minute and 30 seconds. I doubt we're going to see a timeout, but you never know. I keep on forgetting to look at... Oh, yeah, no, we're, I would be... A, we're not going to see a timeout. There's two, the percents are too high, and they're they're interacting a little too much, but it is it is the classic... Oh, my Whoa! God! And, uh, down air! I keep saying how he doesn't go for those, and that's more the Leon style, but actually opting for... Not in disadvantage, just kind of above him, just throwing out the option, and... If you don't expect it, sometimes you're going to get caught by it, and that move will explode you if you get hit by it. And JDV is probably thinking, uh, dang, I wasn't ready? expecting that. I wasn't ready yeah, for it's, it. It's just that adaptation, and you got to have discipline, but you also have to have innovation, right? If you're saying too yeah. rigid, if you're using the same too much, too many option, uh, same options too many times, then uh, eventually they're going to find a hole and break, break it down. But calling, I don't even know what it was. I mean, he was just directly below him. Wasn't yeah. expecting that landing option. I mean, he did the down B on the last stock. And it's pretty, fa I mean, the move's pretty fast, and obviously it has that extra hitbox on the ground when if even you mess it up, you can still be saved by that. So he's probably feeling all right using it. Um, I mean, it definitely paid off there, and it paid off in a huge way. Now 1-1 one, one JDV. JDV's kind of picked town and city. It's a lot bigger of a map, so it's going to have yeah. a little bit harder of a time maybe approaching. You can put the Hydrant a little bit closer, a little bit farther away from the ledge without a competing too much of the stage. What a parry. What a parry. Not too much of a punish, sadly, for, uh, for Nano Ash. But uh, JDV, very happy to take a swap of positions. But uh, we're back to the neutral. Like that. None of that really matters. And it's interesting, we haven't actually been seeing. So I was talking to actually both these players earlier today. And we're talking about parry game. Both of these players that I had to choose, from what I've seen, have some of the better parry games just in our scene. Um, haven't been seeing a whole lot of that come out oh my play God. I mean, right there as I say that, but yeah. It, I, it, I, I feel like we've seen a lot of like good parries, but just not a lot of good follow-ups. Right. Like, not in the position too, or the aerial is just a little oh, too Oh, you're just goodbye. dead. Yeah, goodbye. And that's what JDV needs to do. He needs to negate that Bowser factor where he can live for so long. And it's, it's again, it's all on Nano Ash for staying disciplined, making sure he's mixing it up, making sure he's being optimal and avoiding it so that his stock doesn't evaporate. But man, 64% on his first stock, and Nano Ash has to catch all that up. Yeah. Really, really just been getting, I mean, frankly, just Nano Ash has been getting caught with a lot more of the fruits, a lot more of the kind of zoning, and, uh, Hasn't been able to get in on this game, has not been able to get in the command grabs that he normally would be tacking on, you know, that extra 20-something percent per, and just has struggled. JDV hasn't even really adapted too much. He's just been really executing his game plan at a high level this this particular match. I think this bigger stage is also helping. I mean, yeah, he, true. Uh, uh, <laughs> <said Leon. laughs> He's, uh, he, he, can, he can prove me wrong in two seconds, but Nano Ash has been doing like a relatively good job of like getting in, but he hasn't been getting like big damage starters and uh, only 83%. Ooh, nice spot dodge. Oh my god. Bell on bell. deck. Make nice dash grab. Yeah. Not expecting that. Not a common option. Well, Setting is. up for the bell. Kind of changing frame of mind there. Because actually, no, I, I never see JDB dash grab, or very rarely do I see him dash grab. That's the, that's the set play, right? You make them scared of the bell and all the projectiles, and eventually you could just run up and grab them, send them off stage, reset the advantage, and get all that free percent, because you kind of need it. It's kind of hard to kill Bowser, honestly. Yeah. Unless you get like, oh my god. Ooh, and good. he's living. Yeah, and this is it's looking tough. Oh, nice runoff fair. And he caught the key, too. 
nice. And now you have a, an opportunity to play around. Or the key's gone, never mind. He had the key for a second. Yeah, I, I was about to go on a tangent, but he can just run around and take the key for a ride, but uh, decided to blow it early. Sadly, didn't get the hit. Fair, calling out the jump. Got no options left, he knows that. That's why he dashed back, really, really smart. Okay, now this Hydrant, he's got nothing left. Not necessarily disciplined, tried to call out the uh, the jump from the, the ledge, but... Oh, the, the dare, the rare dare coming out every once in a while. I saw someone in the chat say that if you, Nano Ash doesn't dare, dare often, but when he does, it hits kind of like the, kind of like the dude who says, you know, when I don't, I don't drink beer, but when I do, it's whatever that weird, that random European beer is. He's like <laughs> exactly the same guy. Yeah. yeah just yeah, as yeah, suave. Yeah. You, how do you remember that? <laughs> I just, I've watched way too many ads. All right. He's going to send him off the side. Is it a Mexican beer? I'm sorry. Our, I, chat, our chat's got us. Yeah, it got us. Okay, FTL, here's your ledge trap. Okay, changing it up. Oh my. Oh my. Okay. Let's trap once again. No bell. No bell. Definitely in trouble. Oh, he had, yeah, he had to get up. He was going to get clipped by that. And by clipped, I mean blown up. <laughs> oh, and the, the, the little the ledge. Poke just kicking him off the side. It's so funny the way Pac-Man's little kick looks. It just looks it's like think. It just looks like he's a angled, like, angled F tilt. Yeah, angled F tilt's funny. It just looks like someone who'd be like kicking a screen door shut behind them or something. Or just, just like, like a little being dinky mad boot. about something. I don't know. Yeah, stubbing their toe. Eh, yeah. I, eh. yeah, yeah, like a kid. I didn't get into the college I wanted and is like kicking a hole in the door You're or just something. Just like describing a snobby dad. I am, yeah. <laughs> that's not not who JDB is. That's that's what I think of though when I think of downward angled I mean, Pac-Man F tilt. I kind of want to be like that if I'm playing Pac-Man. It's so tough. True. Because you just gotta you want to kick that you want to kick the hydrant like that all the time, but the, it keeps coming back and the, here we go back to a very similar just stage to Hollow Bastion coming it back. Yeah, just run pretty much. Yeah, running it back to a small, small little environment. You don't got a lot to run away from. Definitely gonna favor Bowser more in that regard. Ooh, wow, really good adaptation. He's noticed that he's gotten hit by a lot by Fire Breath, and he's taking like a lot of big percent. It's like twenty percent if you attack by it. So JDB's answer is throwing the watermelon, which just has. It's just like an unstoppable force. And oh my yeah. god, speaking of unstoppable, Nano Ash, this ledge trap has been paying off. Huge! Oh, oh gets my the god! Tilt. Only 14% for his trouble. Basically, a perfect stock. And I mean, yeah, this is like, does you know, Nano Ash doesn't really play like a conservative, reserved game per se, but just can be really confident knowing that he's just that much farther ahead. Oh my god, that just took like so many Yeah, that was 90. Okay, JDB is not necessarily. Out JDB's of this. like, uh, my combo game kind of nice though. Kind of nice with it. Yeah, as long as, I mean, you're composed enough and you know, oh my. And Nano Ash has caught like every, every bell. Every bell. I, I swear to God. Like, Still getting kind of bodied right now, but caught that bell and that was cool. <laughs> I mean, if you do it, you put the fear into the opponent, or at least in this case, JDV to not do it again. But JDV. Oh, nice get up attack. Get, oh my God, charge the fruit, walk back down, tomahawk into a grab, setting, resetting this disadvantage. JDV doing such a good job keeping this pressure, knowing that if, if Nano Ash gets one neutral reset, it could be lights because all this extra percentage, especially with full rage Bowser, it could just mean a full stock. Ooh, nice sending. Oh, nice dodge on the key. Oh, that's. Oh, answer. man. The big commitment with the grab. That's going to be just a little bit of free percent. Down the down air, the mixing it in a little bit. So, what he does is he jumps to the left lip of the, the hydrant, down airs to stop the approach from JDB, potentially fairing him out for jumping over. And then breaking the hydrant in a process. I really like that thought process by Nano Ash. Such a really good job and really good counterplay. This uh, this cornered hydrant that has been ruining everybody else. Speaking of hydrant, yeah. killing at 200%. Making and that's really you know that's a really good example of making full use of Bowser's game plan of living for two stocks worth of play. And okay, all right, cool, cool, cool. You're gonna take. I don't want to downplay JDB's combos here. You're gonna, but you're gonna take that 50% for free, right? If you're Bowser and getting grabbed, you just gotta hold that. Man. Some characters, oh my God, what? that was what? so strange. Yeah, yeah. I love the interactions that Hydrant sometimes does. He's with like him. cosplaying a dragon. He was like flying. And oh my God, this is the, the bell and the up air. He has caught like 78% oh, of the bells. That, I guess that wasn't true because he did jab side B. I can't tell if it was the Hydrant that messed it up. The true confirm. Sets up the bell. Sets up the. 
hydrants. Nothing too crazy. Oh, my oh God, yeah, you're just dead. Game. Yeah. I love the clip of like T just walking back and forth and then F smashing. When you have Bell, you can do that and just like a menace. But uh, yeah, Nano Ash had to leave, but now suddenly all gone away. Oh my God, 77%. Yeah, and just, okay, that should do it. Oh no, the DI. And I was, yeah, I spoke too soon. <laughs> just catches it. Oh my God, just always oh, a threat. All right, that'll kill. That, yeah, that, 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 that will for sure do it. Covered a lot. That's his classic ledge trap. He'll sit in shield, can up he out of shield to cover. Just will get up, get up attack, and then he reads the, uh, if, if he sees you rolling, he side bees. Just like that. But the one thing that he kind of has to commit more to is if they jump, which is why sometimes you'll see reversals uh, when he overcommits. So, it's, again, it's this ledge trap. See how cool. Oh, nice. Nice option, the up B. Yeah, and Nano Ash just really good at ledge trapping. I love this just standing there trying. And, like, I mean, the parry into N Nair was, like, good. It's unfortunately just wasn't quite good enough to keep JDB in disadvantage. And now we're back to neutral. And uh, it's, it's not really, it's never really going to time. They've been killing each other. A yeah, lot no. It's four minutes, four minutes into the set, and this is considered pretty fast for a JDB set. <laughs> it really truly weird. is. The the meme about, you know, JDB taking forever. And we did see a timeout. I mean, we did see a, a game, a set, a game five set go to time. Oh, oh he's going to steal the game away. I'm saying that's a stolen match, because if he got hit off the platform uh, on the ground, I don't think that that was taking it. The, the down air, as I was saying, like, just I typically don't see Nano Ash go for down airs. He's mixing it slowly more and more into the game plan, realizing it's a really good option to not only take stocks, but just catch JDB out, because JDB is just not used to it. Again, just not used to it. You can, be, you can be as disciplined as you want, but make sure you innovate, and he is finding a way to bring this back, and now we have a game five against Nano Ash. JDB taking it back to PS2, running it back, and... It's a yeah. game of getting in because we saw earlier Nano Ash had the lead, lost the lead suddenly, and then stole the game right under JDB's feet. Game five, here we go. Let's see what Nano Ash can do to break this barrier that JDB has put up. Absolutely, yeah. The the swings in these in this set have been just crazy, where it just feels like one player's dominating, and then like one player will just get like a, a, zero sh a, z a essentially like more or less a zero to death. 100% out of nowhere. Yeah. Galaga combos have been paying uh, JDB huge. But Nano Ash finding these openings, making the most of what he can. And every time he's on ledge, or JDB's on ledge, Nano Ash has been like pushing that advantage. And that's how he's staying in this game, despite having to take 100 and, 100 and some percent just to even like get in for half a moment. Catching these bells, okay, nothing there. Oh, nice wait. Didn't necessarily predict the hydrant. Once again, trying to come underneath under him. Oh, that bell has it in hand. A scary option. Okay. God, it's the way JDB is able to play these mind games is tossing it out in a space where he knows that Nano Ash can't really punish the fact he's just going to run up and catch it again. Patience. Tries to call out the jump from, from ledge. And uh, Nano Ash hasn't been able to get in, but we're talking about the life bar. Bowser, 190%. Catches the bell. Oh, no. You don't have five frames immediately. Get up attack, really smart option. Uses the bell to try to cover himself, but it didn't really do anything. But really good recognition on the fact that you needed to He's get up. He's gonna go for this. Oh, I thought he was, I thought. Oh, oh. my, oh my. Oh my, some misses on both players. And all of a sudden, JDV definitely a kill percent. Yeah, to that, um, at ledge, a lot of stuff. With rage. That turn around, really good. Okay, tug you over, don't go on the platform. <gasps> Just gets hit by the bell. Bears him away from the ledge. Resets oh, the advantage. Oh, that's it. I think nope. we... Oh, but no, he's... Oh, oh. the DI was a little off. Because he had yeah. to DI in to win the tug of war in terms right. of where the Bowser landed. But then he had to immediately flick out the moment he got hit by the, the slam part. But it messed up his DI and enough to kill him and send him off stage. 228%. See, and that's, this is how you know that Nano Ash is doing good. If he's living the 228, 238. I mean, how... This is one of the highest percents I've seen. 247. 247. I think this is one lot. of the highest percents I've seen in a competitive set in a I mean, 250. Still, are we gonna get the 300? Still going up. I mean, this is the the life bar oh. we're talking about. Still Nair not, not gonna, Yeah, Nair is not gonna kill. Nair is not a kill move. That's the thing is that JDV has problems killing when he's not able to get his kind of, his fruit confirms. His fruit confirms. And and oh, the F tilt's, tilt's still not, not gonna enough. do it either. Are we gonna get to 300? Is the spell not connecting? Okay, that was two. I want to say 288 or something. 
That is for sure the highest percent I've ever seen in a competitive set. There is not not even close. And, uh, that percentage was enough to make the crowd come alive. Everyone. Uh, People were getting hyped. I think they were also. I think they wanted the 300. Yeah, I think they wanted the 300. But uh, you got a little any any kind of a morale boost. You you got to take because it's it's been a it's been a slog for Nano Ash. Uh, and I mean, it's funny because like he lived. To, you know, he did all that work. He lived the 300. But now look, he's literally. I mean, he's basically it's tied now. So after putting in all that work. And now he's behind. Okay, just like here's, here's JDB's lead shot. This is not something you want to be behind against. JDB has been doing such a good job of just getting these confirms and ignoring the 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 200 percent and yeah, beyond. He doesn't Bowser. care. So I mean, the fact that this is even and now pushing into JDB's favor catches the fruit or the bell once again. How do you recover? Can you hold the bell for very long? Fair not enough. Tosses it off stage. Unfortunate. I think he got the wrong side. He really, like, it'd be, it'd be such a swing if he was able to catch a bell and do his own bell F smash or own bell, you know, anything with Bowser. But he just hasn't been able to do it. So far, it's just been he's caught it, prevented it from being used against him, although it has caught him a few times, and just kind of removed it from JDB's repertoire as a more consistent kill option. It's, it's the fact that you're willing and can, in fact, deal with it makes people scared. He's been doing that downer. JDB maybe caught wind of how to deal with that downer. He faded back, waited for the, for the Bowser to land against the Hydrant, and even though the Hydrant's covering him, he somehow weaved his way and punished. Okay. okay there's the side B. That's not going to kill, not just yet. But the, ra the full rage Bowser is real scary because uh, I think the next command grab is going to kill. Fire breath, for sure it is now. 22% on deck. Okay, here's the tech chases. JDB has been like a magnet chasing Nano Ash across the stage with these fair chains. Grab, that's yeah, not, doing not anything. Doing it. Yeah, just sending him back off stage. We're going to see another 300 percenter maybe? I want to see it. Who in chat Holy wants to Let's get some 300s in chat. 300. I, I don't know if we're actually going to ever see that. But House of 300. House of 300. Or, yeah, 3,000. Yeah, I don't think, that, I don't think that's possible. I think it's, yeah, it's just 999. What's possible. Thank you, Confused Lefty, for making me not look like a complete ghoul. At least one person wants to see the 300. Oh, my, oh my God. But the damage he just stacked on there is so ridiculously oh. fast. I don't need the bell to confirm. I can no, just read you No, he instead. can just do his F smash without the bell. As long as I know where you're going, it doesn't matter. Yo, is that the Bluck? Is that the, uh, the Bluxious, the Bowser? If it is, high Bluxious.